So I want to do some explanation on what these particular models are, uh, what they're about. It's what I call blasphemy. So it's a, the name comes from a old, well not old, but a YouTube TV show called Roadkill where a guy drops a Chrysler type, well uh, he drops a Hemi and a Chevy and he calls it blasphemy but it's spelled with a Hemi. Anyway, I thought that was great because here you have a Gibson style switch, well it's actually a switchcraft, three-way toggle switch and a Fender jazz bass control plate. And I've always, well not always wondered but begs the question, why doesn't the Fender do that? Instead of having volume, volume, tone, just have a toggle switch and master volume, master tone. Well, because these things are ridiculously expensive. And not only that, you have to buy the locking nut separate from the switch. So total package is about $20. And, but the cool thing is they're, they're I mean, they're worth every penny. Durable, sturdy, great connections. Uh, and in my kits, I even include these, all four colors, white, ivory, this amber, and black. They come right off. And then you've got orange drops. So here are like standard orange drops, but I've dipped all of mine in in uh, electric tape, or liquid electric tape. Just for extra protection. So Kenman, uh, Kenman style circuit with a 0 0.001 microfarad cap, 150K resistor in series. So that resistor is just on one leg, there's nothing on this leg. And connected as such. And this is just a 0 0.047 microfarad cap, your tone cap on some CTS pots. Then of course the switchcraft that you would connect your neck pickup here, your hot here, and your bridge hot here. And then all of your grounds, so both pickup grounds either to here, well, probably here because they're going to be close to this, and your bridge ground from your bridge plate, maybe here, maybe here, wherever. Well, not wherever, but connected to the metal casing. And so that's why these are up there in price, because of these guys. They're pretty expensive. Now, I've got a cheaper model here. It'll come with knobs, of course, but these are all for whatever reason. Uh, same setup, same specs, same stuff and things. Three-way switch, master volume, master volume, master tone, master tone. It's just cheap, cheaper parts. So where this whole thing is 20 bucks for me, uh, around 20 bucks. This is a cheaper metric switch. And I'm not really sure, I'm not sure if it's Alpha or Borns, I can't really find the name on it, but I've had one of these for over 20 years. It came in this base. This switch is vintage. It's the same one from 19, well, this is a 1981 day on. And switches, it's a Les Paul wiring. But yeah, it's been it's been around for two and a half decades now. No, four and a half, four decades. No. That's why I build control plates and not do math. Anyway, um, so that that toggle switch is in here. This is like. For me, seven or eight dollars. I have to buy it. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with. I won't include all of the caps because there's only it only comes in black. And I think I've got yeah. There's a silver. So 
so a black cap or a silver cap, but I can't include because I can't find these sold separately, but that might change in the future. But anyway, the this is the cheaper model that I think I'm selling on Reverb for $60. The, this, and then these are Borns. I was doing Alphas, but they, I don't want to sell those to somebody because they have a tendency to be uh, problematic to solder to the casings. Uh, they have some sort of protective coating or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but it was a pain to get solder on the back of those alphas, so I don't do those anymore. If I'm going a cheaper route, a cheaper build for this, I'm sticking with Borns because anybody can solder their grounds to the back of these. And I've already included big blobs for whoever. But yeah, same deal. Kenman, not dipped in the electric liquid tape, but they're uh, got some uh, heat shrink tubing here and eh, a little bit of electric tape, liquid electric tape on this leg, but more heat shrink tubing on this one. And then uh, a switchcraft jack because I don't want to put cheap ones on there, but yeah. Cheaper stuff, still good, still great, just not as expensive as these guys. Same setup, same wiring. And now I've made a little demo video of the one that my personal blasphemy setup in, in my base, so check that out. I'm just bouncing back and forth between bridge, uh, middle, and what did I say? Sorry. <laughs> I'm just bouncing back and forth between neck, middle, and bridge. So it's the same volume tone setup and you're just bouncing back and forth between whatever pickup combination you want. Enjoy! So that's it, that's the Blasphemy control plate. Uh, simple as that, just a volume tone with a toggle switch on it. If you have any questions, you know where to do that below. Just uh, leave a comment, whatever. And I'll also leave links to where you can find these and other builds that I do. Um, they're all available on Reverb, of course, uh, Amazon, and Fleabay. Um, pretty much, I've got three models. The first Blasphemy, it's cheaper version, and then uh, some other other Blasphemy models, ones with a giant uh, Veritone rotary switch, which has got like six capacitor selections, or switch tone caps you can choose from. And then another one's a series parallel, where you got a stacked volume, and and tone with a series parallel switch and then of course a toggle switch so it all has to do with toggle switch toggle switches all right 
yeah any questions or comments thank you